Greetings comrades, Multigame Master One Report again, and welcome back to Let's Replay 100% Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we explored Peanut Island and tried to rescue Princess Peach from Shadow Mario, aka Bowser Jr., but unfortunately was unsuccessful in doing so, and as a result, she has been taken over to Corona Mountain. In this episode, we're going to do some things in Dolphino Plaza and much more. And this episode may be the longest that I've made in the series, but for everything we're going to do in this episode, it's pretty much well worth it. With me, I have a special guest. Would you care to introduce yourself while I chase after Shadow Mario? You already introduced me. Hey everybody, it's Shadow Mario, and guess what? I'm stealing this Yoshi egg, and you can't stop me. Ah, uh, just kidding. Hey everybody, it's Megaway Master one and guess what? I'm commentating on this part of Super Mario Sunshine. Thank you for having me, Multigame Master 1. Thank you for being on Megui Master 1. By the way, if you were Shadow Mario, you'd be dead by now. Yeah. Speaking of which, Shadow Mario is down. Darn! And I was just about to ride that Yoshi too. Well, too bad for you, Buster. My thoughts exactly. Now this Yoshi egg is requesting some fruit, a banana. If we bring him the correct fruit, he will hatch out of his egg and now we can ride him around. Now a couple of things we're going to do in Dopino Plaza with this Yoshi. As I mentioned in the beginning of Super Mario Sunshine, back in episode 1 I believe it was, there are some force fields that we can melt away with Yoshi's juice if we just squirt them. And behind this one is where we will find a blue coin. There's another one off in that general direction over there, over to that building. We'll be covering that as well and getting a blue coin behind it, as well as eating that giant pineapple. That covers up a red pipe, which takes us to the next level on Isle Delfino, known as Serena Beach, but we're going to cover that as soon as we complete Pina Park. And also with Yoshi, we are going to access another secret level that can be accessed if you have Yoshi with you. Yes, and it's good to know that the Yoshis aren't completely extinct from the island, because, you know, the islanders will tell you, oh, Yoshis, Yoshis used to run free, but uh, it's reassuring to know that they're still here. It is definitely reassuring. It may have been because of the goop that's been invading the island, or it might be the diminishing sunlight, but again, reassuring to know that they're okay. Or you know, it could be the plants on Peanut Park. Hmm, oh wait, yeah, there's that too. So anyways, um, while we make our way for the secret level, Mega, do you care to explain some controls about Yoshi? Sure. Like all good dinosaurs, he vomits juice. Ew. Um, but no, this is the equivalent to spraying water with Mario. Uh, juice can be used to turn enemies into platforms, oddly enough. And it can also... Oh, let me see. It can also melt the... It can dissolve the yellow goo, as you saw Multi doing earlier. Yoshi can also use his tongue if you press B, which can be used to eat various enemies. You can eat butterflies, and I think even birds if you use it correctly. Um, what else? You can dismount Yoshi by pressing X, which I wouldn't recommend doing here, considering you're surrounded by water. And what do you know, a clever segue. By going into water as Yoshi, he will actually melt and turn into paint, I guess, and he'll respawn again inside an egg. Yoshi cannot swim, so be sure to keep him away from water, and he also will gradually run out of juice, so you need to refill that by giving him fruit. Depending on the kind of fruit you give him, he will become a certain color. You can either feed him bananas and coconuts to turn him pink, you can feed him papayas or pineapples to turn him orange, and you can feed him a chili pepper or a durian to turn him purple. And I think that's everything you can do with Yoshi, other than, of course, his fancy jumps, as you'll see Multi do right about now. As we make our way to this checkpoint on the metal structure, on our way to the secret level. You mentioned earlier that you need to keep Yoshi out of the water. We actually need to do that so that we can access the secret level. Yes, and oh yeah, also Yoshi has his traditional flutter kick, which again, I would not recommend doing now. But, uh, do you want to explain why I'm here, Multi? Other than the fact that I just happen to be vacationing on Isle Delfino, but, uh, why this part? Um, yeah, sure. You can go ahead and explain yourself, Mega. By the way, guys, I was originally intending on speeding this part up, but 
you know, Mega just has a lot to discuss about this game, and I really do acknowledge that he has great memory of this game. Um, but if you guys haven't guessed from my code commentaries with Multi, I like to commentate on the more frustrating areas, and this is no exception. Just like the Submerged Castle, this is considered to be one of the toughest areas in the game, or at least one of the toughest levels. And I want to be here for every painful moment. You're quite mischievous, Mega, but I can understand your reasoning. In all honesty, I... Well, I am curious to see how well Multi does here. But, uh... Yeah, this is considered one to be one of the hardest levels and is quite infamous among fans of this game. So, with that being said, please continue, Multi. Thank you. Now, we have some burning sticks here. You can squirt them in order to get a 1-up mushroom from it. But I really don't need it. I am full of 1-ups, as you all may know, and I'm pretty good. Also, we have a stranded individual on this island. I was shipwrecked and washed up here three years ago. I often think about the far shore, but I can't swim. I've never left this little island. Isn't that just awful? That is awful. I wish I could help you, but sadly I can't. But there are some boats. You can use that. Yeah, I'm sure the castaways of Gilligan's Island really sympathize with him. <laughs> yes, but anyways, here's a secret level that we can access via Yoshi. Just get rid of the force field and in you go. Yes, those boats are the only way to get there, by the way. Uh-huh. Inside the pipe, we have a brand new mini game that involves us traveling on the lily, the lily pad above the water. And what you need to do in this level is to collect all eight red coins above the poisonous water. You can use the lily pad to navigate your way along the poisonous water and get the red coins. But do not touch the poisonous water, otherwise you will instantly lose a life. Take extreme care of yourself and the lily pad. Yes, again, this is incredibly hard. Multi's making it look easy right now. Uh, particularly the seventh coin is probably the hardest to get, but Multi, if you ah! do this, what? <laughs> oh, I jinxed you. Okay, guys. After a second attempt at this, things are good now. Making good progress, and here's the last red coin, and here is where you can pick up the Shine Sprite. Multi, don't fall in. Don't fall in. Oh. I'll be honest with you guys. I did have trouble with this before, and to this day, apparently I still do. By the way, here is a pipe over here. Do not enter it, otherwise you'll be taken out of Delfino Plaza, and you'll just have to restart everything, including getting back into secret level again. Shine! Oh, great. It's Shadow Mario once again, and this time he has a turbo nozzle. Up to his wascally tricks. Let's get after him. We need this turbo nozzle to do more stuff in Delfino Plaza. Come here, Shadow Mario. Come here. That doesn't belong to you. Drop it. Drop it, Shadow Mario. What do you suppose he wants with a turbo nozzle anyway? I have no idea. Maybe he just wants to speed all over the place? But he doesn't have a flood. Exactly. Like, so why does he have a use for it? I don't know. I've always questioned this part. Oh my goodness. Come Come on, Shadow Mario, stop moving. Come on. You're going to fall either way. It is difficult for you to take down Shadow Mario when he's holding onto something, but just keep after him. Shadow Mario, Shadow Mario, Shadow Mario. Come on. Have you ever noticed just how many of his moves are really similar to yours? I have noticed that actually. What? And I was just about to turbo dash too. Well, too bad, Shadow Mario. I'm killing your dream. <laughs> <laughs> now, a couple of things that we can do with the Turbo Nozzle. There's a Shine Sprite that we can get over here. Just use the Turbo Nozzle to bust into the door and claim the Shine Sprite for yourself. It's as simple and easy as that. And once again, Shadow Mario is back with the Rocket Nozzle. But we're going to worry about that later. Right now, there are still a few other things that we need to take care of in Dolphino Plaza. Now, the next thing we're going to do with this turbo nozzle is to make our way back to that island with the pipe. Because as you've seen earlier, there was a gold bird. And this gold bird signifies some importance, as you will see. Multi, I still cannot believe that you beat this level in only two tries. Like, I would have been amazed if you had done it in one, but still, two is just amazing. Well, you know, platforming in that place is really bad, and that's why I messed up the first time around. 
Anyways, here we have the Golden Bird, and he has a Shine Sprite. Just simply squirt him with uh, water three times in order for you to get the Shine Sprite. Of course, it doesn't land on this island, it lands all the way over there. Real quick, I'm going to go back to the central part of Delfino Plaza to pick up a Hover Nozzle. And the reason why I'm doing this is because during practice of this game in preparation for this episode, I couldn't really get the Shine Sprite with just the Turbo Nozzle. I found out that it would be best if you could get the uh, Shine Sprite with the Hover Nozzle. So that's why I have it in hand now. And with that, we can now get the next Shine Sprite. Do you have a favorite Nozzle Multi? Do I have a favorite Nozzle? Yes. You know... Actually, I'll talk about that later as soon as we resume things in Delfino Plaza again. Okay. Now, Mega, you were asking earlier about my favorite nozzle. That would have to be the rocket nozzle, hands down. Yeah, I'd say it's kind of a toss-up between the hover and rocket for me. Here's the next thing we're doing, by the way. Getting a blue coin behind the door, just ram into it with the turbo nozzle, and you'll be able to get it. It can be found in the group of islands over there, as you saw. It is normally not recommended that you slam into doors with your face. Do not try this at home. Multi is a professional. <laughs> and the last thing that we can do with the Turbo Nozzle is to go through these doors and inside the police station we will find yet another obstacle course. Inside a police station? How weird is that, Mega? I think the architect just had a sense of humor that day because this is certainly an odd thing to have in a police station. But as you can see those red, those red strips just at the end of the blocks, that's where you want to jump. And for you to get the next Shine Sprite here, you need to complete the obstacle course with the Turbo Nozzle. Oh, oh, that was so oh, close. Go Good thing I got this done on my first try, unlike the Lily Pad game. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to chase after Shadow Mario and get that Rocket Nozzle. Come here, Shadow Mario. This time you're not going to cause me trouble. Come here. Come on, Shadow Mario. Drop it. It does not belong to you. There we go. Drop it. Bad Shadow Mario. Shoot. And I was just about to rocket jump, too. Too bad. It's mine now, and you don't deserve to rocket jump. Especially after all you've done. Now, the next thing we're going to do in Delfino Plaza is to make our way to the top of the lighthouse, smash this symbol, and underneath it is another Shine Sprite that you can collect. It will be positioned well above you in the sky. All you need to do to get it is to use the rocket nozzle. Did you know that that platform actually is there even when the lighthouse disappears? I did know that, yes. Here's the spot in which you'll be able to swap between Hover Nozzle, Turbo Nozzle, and Rocket Nozzle, by the way. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to make our way for that bell tower up there, because as you can see, the bell is awfully filthy. And like what we did before, we need to clean it in order to get ourselves another Shine Sprite, so let's make our way over to it. Yeah, you know, this thing looks cool, but honestly, it's, it doesn't look as cool as the bell tower we have on my college campus. It actually plays various songs with all of the bells that it has, and it's really cool. Once you clean the bell, you'll be able to get the Shine Sprite that's positioned above you on top of the bell tower, or at least, well, above the bell tower. Just use the rocket nozzle in order for you to get it. And Mega, when we come back, I would like to talk to you about that bell tower on campus. Shine. Mega, you actually have a college bell on campus? Well, actually, it's like several bells. They come together to play various songs. Like, I know it's played When You Wish Upon a Star, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Um, that song, I believe, is called Chariots of Fire. Mega, I'm just so jealous of you. On my college campus, at least when I used to go to college, we never had a single bell. Not a single bell. I'm so jealous of you right now. Well, some people consider it annoying, but I actually kind of like it. Anyways, the next thing we're going to do with the Rocket Nozzle is to make our way to the Shine Gate, and here we will see a model of an actual Shine Sprite that's covered in goo. Just simply wash it away with some water, and you'll be able to get another Shine Sprite. The Shine Sprite will be positioned well above the Shine Gate. Again, use your Rocket Nozzle in order to claim it for yourself. Carefully, carefully, there we go. And that pipe uh, will be important later. Right, it will take us to another level on Isle Dovino known as Piazza Village, but we'll be covering that much later. 
Okay, last thing we're going to do in Delfino Plaza that involves us using the rocket nozzle is to make our way for the group of trees over there. And you'll see that there is a pipe hidden inconspicuously in the palm trees. You can get to it if you simply use the rocket nozzle like so. Carefully. Easy does it. Oh shoot, I'm gonna fall in the water. Oh, no I didn't. No, you're fine. You're fine. Here's the warp pipe over here. Enter inside and you'll be taken to another mini game that involves us roaming through the tall grass. Now in this level, it is our mission to find and collect all eight red coins for us to get another shine sprite. Let's get started. Oh my gosh, wild pokey appeared! <laughs> Why did I not think of that reference, Mega? You said tall grass, so it had to come eventually. That is a good point. Usually Pokemon like to hide in the grass to surprise you. Oh, this dude's mushrooms are on fire! I don't know if I said that already, actually I think I may have, but let's help him out so that we can get another red coin from him. I wish these guys would just stand still while their mushrooms were on fire, but you know, they probably would, um, susp sus I can't even speak, they would probably fall victim to danger if they stood around for too long, like the fire would just burn them eventually. Awful image to think about. Moving onwards, I've been searching for the red bird of happiness for some 38 years now. Yep, it's been a long, long road. The thing is, I've been feeling lately like I'll never catch up with it. Never stop believing your dreams, sir. I'm sure you'll find that red bird. Wait a minute, what was that? What was that? Was that a red bird? What was- That is a red bird. It's over there. Multi, what are you doing? No, it's the red bird of happiness. It's the red bird of redness, that's what it is, and the reason why I say that is because it has a red coin. But it's so happy! Come on, little guy, fly away! <laughs> also, it is possible for the red bird to fly over the pit. Do not um, squirt your water at the red bird when he does this, otherwise you will lose the red coin and I'll have to end up starting over. This hasn't happened to me before, but I've seen this happen to some other people. With that, we can now continue the red coin search. And Mega, I'm sorry I uh, killed that red bird. Maybe not so much killed, but drenched it in water. But I had to get the red coin. You have to understand. That guy's been hunting for it for 38 years. That's a long time. Mega, why must you make me guilty? I'm doing this for a cause, you know. Here's the last red coin to be found. And once you grab all eight red coins, here's where you can pick up the shine sprites. Now we just need to make our way over to it. You crushed that guy's dream! Mega, I'm sorry. Guys, please agree with me. I'm doing this for a worthy cause. Okay, now that's everything that we can do within Delfino Plaza. So now what we're going to do is to make our way to past levels that we've been to already. That's Bianco Hills, Rico Harbor, and Gelato Beach for us to pick up all the blue coins as well as any shine sprites that we may have left behind. We're going to start in Bianco Hills, and to start our blue coin search in there, we're going to go to episode number 8. And I'm just going to go ahead and skip this because we've seen this already. Now here we have a Yoshi egg that requests a pineapple. We're going to need that Yoshi later. But right now, there is one particular blue coin that I want to get that involves us using the hover nozzle, so let's make our way to it. Oh, is this one that you couldn't get before, or is it just one that you just happen to miss. I'd probably consider it as a blue coin that I've missed, but there's a good reason behind as to why I quote unquote missed that. Because it was just out of the way on the path to the main mission, you know? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, here is where the blue coin can be found on that island where we encounter Petey Piranha. And an easy way for you to get to it is to squirt these clouds with some water in order to cause them to grow. Yes, easy as pie. Then you want to make your way over to this island, squirt the center of it with some water, and you'll get a blue coin from it. Now, we'll just have to make our way back. Also, do not fall here, otherwise you will lose a life and there's no getting back up. So be careful. Okay, now, the uh, next thing we're going to do is to get um, some fruit for the Yoshi. You request a pineapple, so let's see if we can find one. What would you say your favorite fruit on this island would be? Well, as I mentioned before, I'd probably say it was bananas. Oh, bees, 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 bees. 
Be multi. You do realize what's in that beehive, right? I mean, besides bees. Yes, I do, Mega. Don't remind me. Even I'm allergic, or like, I'm allergic to bees, and I'm not as afraid of them in video games as you are. It's a curse, I'm afraid. Here you go, Yoshi. One nice, fresh, delicious pineapple. I think this is another reason as to why Megas gets commentating just so that he can enjoy my pain. <laughs> Though you may have said it already. That's kind of my job. Okay. Sorry, Multi, but... I hate you. Can't really... <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> so, you'll see some butterflies here, and you can actually eat them with Yoshi, as Mega explained earlier. You'll see that there are three different colors of butterflies. Um, yellow ones will give you a yellow coin in return. There are actually some green ones to be found around here. Let me see if I can find them. When does your tyranny end? These butterflies haven't done anything to you! First birds and now butterflies! Mega, this is for demonstration purposes. Though these butterflies are adorable and I shouldn't really kill them. Once you eat the green butterflies, you'll get a 1-up mushroom. And there's actually a blue butterfly to be found around here somewhere. Uh, let me try to find it. And if it takes me t oh, there it is. I was gonna say that if it took me too long, that I would speed this up. But I found it right away. So yeah, keep an eye out for those butterflies if you want to get some goods from them. Now, yes, indeed. the final blue coin that we need to get here in Bianco Hills is actually located in this dangerous territory. And the reason why I say dangerous is because of the beehives. One of these beehives has a blue coin. And it's this one right here. The other beehive just has a 1-up mushroom. Now what you need to do to get the blue coin from the beehive... Actually, let me get these CD pods first because... Yeah, that might help you. Yeah, if I leave them to dawdle for too long, they may cause a hindrance in my progress. Okay, there we go. And they won't respawn, they'll just disappear once they become blocks. Right. Okay, now what you need to do to get this next blue coin, or final one, in uh, Bianco Hills, I should say, is to devour each and every single bee inside the beehive. The only way in which you can get them to chase after you is to destroy their hive. Before we get started, guys, I do want to say this. If you've seen my first playthrough of Super Mario Sunshine, I had a tactic in which I could just take down the bees from a distance so that way I'd be safe. But to this day, I still consider that to be cowardly. So just because you guys are awesome and you're enjoying this series because you guys deserve better than this, if I may add, I'm actually going to get up close to it. Oh, and by the way, this too was Mega's idea. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, Melty, you need to be a little closer. Do I have to? I think this is a considerable distance. Ah, 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 bees, 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 I hate bees. <laughs> Mega, I'm glad you're enjoying this. Ah, ah, ah. No, no, bees, 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 bees. Camera cooperate Come with me, please. Come on, Multi, bees, you bees, can do bees, it. Bees, bees, ah, ah, ah. Guys, to this day, I hate bees. I hate bees so much. I hate the way they buzz. I hate the way they fly. I hate the way they sting. I'm shooken up in this commentary. Ah! 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 And I'm just here enjoying the show. Mega! Ugh! I hate you! <laughs> I would have laughed if you accidentally talked to the lady there. Ah! Uh. Hey, oh, there it is. Oh. Okay. That's it. We've gotten the blue coin from the bees, all is well. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that in each level in Beyond, uh, Isle Delfino, excuse me, you'll find a total of 30 blue coins, with the exception of Delfino Plaza, in which you'll only be able to find 20. As you can see, we've gotten all the other shine sprites in Bianco Hills, so now our work here within Bianco Hills is 100% complete. Now, the next place we're going to go to is Rico Harbor to get the blue coins as well as one last shine sprite from that area. So, we'll cut here and we'll meet you guys over there. See you there, guys. Back in Rico Harbor, Episode 8, Yoshi's Fruit Adventure. Yoshi's certainly adventurous indeed. I do agree, Mega. With Yoshi having returned in Isle Delfino, 
we can now complete this mission. There's a shine spark to be found in that cage up there. All we need to do is to make our way to it. Now there's actually a Yoshi egg that can be found in the town market, so I'm just going to use the sewers as well as the speed sliding tactic for me to get over there as quickly as possible. Ow. <laughs> you bumped it into the wall. I would imagine how much that hurts, by the way. By the way, just how many caged shine sprites are in this area? Um, I think two, if you count that big yellow one over there. Hmm. Now you'll see that there's a Yoshi egg out there that requests a durian. We can use this fruit machine as a means of getting some fruit from it. And for you to get fruit from the machine, just ground pound on top of these switches and eventually you'll be able to get the durian. Yeah, and if, if it'll stop giving you fruit, that's because there can only be so many fruit on screen at a time, so just throw some of them into the water if you need to. Uh, I thought I was going to have a hard time kicking this durian, because if you guys recall from past episodes of Super Mario Sunshine, that whenever I kicked the durian, it would just fly into the air for some reason. I I don't know what happened to that mechanic. I don't know. There's just, you know, something's wrong with this game. Anyway, here's a blue coin that we can get from this clamber. Just eat it with Yoshi, and you'll be able to get a blue coin from it. Next, we're going to make our way back to the town market for us to get two more blue coins. And the reason why I'm doing this now is, well, you know, we do have Yoshi, so we may as well just not waste an opportunity with him. Seems like the most convenient time, really. Swarm of blue butterflies that you can eat to get a blue coin from it, and there's also a blue coin to be found in one of these baskets. Here it is, right here. I almost forgot where it was. Okay, now on to completing the mission. To get to the Shine Sprite, what you need to do is to squirt these Cheap Cheeps with Yoshi Juice. Keep in mind that it must be purple in order for the platforms to travel in a horizontal direction. And that's one thing I forgot to mention, or we forgot to mention. The effects of the Yoshi Juice all depend on the color of the Yoshi. For example, if it's a pink Yoshi and it defeats an enemy with Yoshi Juice, then the platform will just travel in a vertical-like direction. Purple will cause it to um, travel in a horizontal direction, and orange will just keep it still. Yeah, but Yoshi will always want a durian for this mission, so you don't have to worry about that. Just as long as you don't need any other fruit, you're fine. Well, actually, you do need a coconut in order for you to um, get to the cage shine sprite. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about before you make that first jump. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. You need to make sure that your, pur that your Yoshi is purple. So that way you'll be able to make it. Okay, carefully. I don't want to lose my Yoshi here. Okay, there we go. Now from here on out, you want to use a pink Yoshi in order for you to navigate along these metal beams on your way to the cage Shine Sprite. Now if you're careful enough, you can still keep the purple Yoshi, but if you want to make things a little easier for yourself so that way the, the platforms will actually ascend, then have pink Yoshi ready. Here is some graffiti to be found here, by the way. I think this is the last blue coin that we can get in Rico Harbor. Let me check the map real quick. Yep, 30. There we go. Also, I want to know how Shadow Mario got up here to paint that. I honestly have no idea, if I'll be honest with you. Oh! Okay. Careful. Here is the cage shine sprite. We finally made it. Wash away the force field with Yoshi's juice, and unfortunately... You can only get the shine sprite with Mario because, sadly, Yoshi just can't go through flip gates. Sorry, Yoshi. Really sorry, Yoshi. Again, you press the X button to dismount off of Yoshi. Now, Mega, how much time do we have left? Well, what's the current time? We have... Well, actually, I accidentally stopped my stopwatch during the parts that we've been cutting out. But we're roughly 30 minutes into the recording. Well, you know what? I think there are some parts that are going to be cut out. And... We do have one last thing that we're going to do on Isle Delfino before we end things off. And for that, we're going to make our way back to Gelato Beach, so we'll collect this Shine Sprite and head on over to Gelato Beach. Yahoo! Now, for us to get the remaining blue coins on Gelato Beach, I'm going to make my way to Episode 6. So, without further ado, let the coin hunt on the beach begin. Cue the music!
Aw, that was fun. I okay. didn't hear nearly as much screaming. Okay, guys. According to this, we have gotten all 30 blue coins. And according to our progress, we are 100% done with Bianco Hills, Rico Harbor, and Gelato Beach. Which means we won't be coming back to these three areas anytime soon. And with that, that is going to be the end of this episode. So I'm going to end things off here for now. Next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we are going to venture back to Peanut Park. Before we close though, Megui Master 1, do you have any final thoughts? Thank you for having me in this part and join us for the next part where we head back to Peanut Park. Oh, and by the way, guys, Megui Master 1 will be back in the next episode because he did tell me that Peanut Park is one of his favorite levels. So, Mega, I look forward to having you on again. You've been a great co commentator. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Ah, uh, the sea is just so beautiful. We should end it off now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next episode. This is Multi Game Master 1. And Megui Master 1, signing out. And over and out. See you later, comrades. Goodbye.